from Body Fit by Amy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do a kettlebell swing. So, there are lots of variations on the swing. You may have seen a CrossFit or an American kettlebell swing over the head. We're not gonna do that version. We're gonna keep it kind of basic, the RKC version of a swing. And I'm gonna to try to keep this video short, but just know there's a lot of different parts in the swing, a lot of things for, for your brain to be thinking about and for your body to be doing. And it's a lot of things that are different than what our, our body is used to doing in our normal exercises. So it's gonna take a little time and that's totally fine. It takes practice um, to really get good at it. So just take your time, go slower if you need to. And if you don't feel comfortable in the videos, doing it um, at the pace, I'll give you a modification or you can just take your time and do less. So we're actually gonna start without the kettlebell. I'm gonna drop it down, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. So the biggest mistake that people make with a kettlebell swing is they wanna make it a squat and a raise. That's not it, it's not a squat, it's not a raise. So, but it's understandable why you would wanna do that because your muscle memory, our body is used to this motion, used to this motion. So it's okay, but it's, it's not the proper form. So what we wanna think about is hinging back at the hips. So starting in that neutral spine, shoulders back, abs pulled in, just sort of practice, just kind of going forward, hips going back. So we're here to here. So knees are a little bit soft, little bend, but again, we're not a squat. It's kind of more of that deadlift motion, but just to just practice on your own, just getting the hips back, but keeping that chest up, keeping that back flat. I think keeping the eyes up really helps so we don't round in that back. So just the first part of the motion is that hinge at the hips. So a little bit like a deadlift. Let's just imagine we have the kettlebell. So when we're here, I'm going to angle a bit so you can see me. We're gonna prep that kettlebell, so just hike it back. So when I got certified, they said, imagine you're hiking a football and you're getting those forearms pressing back into your legs. So not out here in front, we're bringing it to the back. So you're prepping it. I like to do a little prep, like three, two, one, to get a feel for it. Not everybody does, everybody does that, that's okay. So we're gonna be here, flat back, neutral spine, hinge at the hips. We're gonna hike it back, just a little prep work. And then from here, we're gonna power up from the hips, from the legs, from the glutes. So we're here, bring it up, and we're gonna stop it just about here. Just kind of think chest level or a little bit below. We're not worried about how high we get. We don't want the arms to be doing the work. Your arms aren't working. You'll feel them, they're getting some work, but they're not lifting. So don't worry about how high you get. We want the momentum and the power from the legs to come here here, stopping at the top. So the way we're stopping that motion is we're locking out in the legs, in the glutes, in the back, in the abs, in the shoulders. So all of that. So basically you're hinging in the hips, bring it up, then you're stopping that motion by locking everything out. I know we never tell you to lock out your knees or your muscles, but then the kettlebell swing, you do need to lock your knees. So lock the knees straight up, make sure you're pulling your abs in so we don't get that arch in the back, shoulder blades in, and here, you're kind of gonna let it hang a bit at the top. It shouldn't feel weighted, it should feel pretty light. And then, just like a pendulum swing, we're gonna let the kettlebell bring us back down into the motion. So here, 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 here. So the weight of the kettlebell is gonna bring you back and forth. You wanna be thinking that that's what's bringing you down, you're not controlling the motion down. So let's try it with the kettlebell real quick. So, make sure you're bending your knees to do it. Sometimes it's easier to have it in front right between your feet, drop it down from here, hinge at the hips. So just like a deadlift, you, again, you can practice that hinge at the hips with the, with the kettlebell as well, or a dumbbell. So we're here, hinge at the hips, prep it, prep it back, three, two, big deep breath in, bring it up. My back is still flat, I'm locking out at the top, nice and straight letting the kettlebell hang a bit, right at the top, not rushing, coming back down, chest is dropping, but it's lifted, eyes are up, and when I'm done with my set, I'm gonna come down and let it swing. We don't wanna stop that swing in midair, it's gonna pull you right back down and get into your back. So again, one more time, feet are flat, slightly, slightly more than shoulder width apart, neutral spine, flat back, hinge at the hips, prep it, three, Two, big deep breath in, power it up, lock out, let it drop. Up, let it drop. Up, let it drop. Again, I'm not worried about how high it's getting. In fact, I wanna keep it chest level or lower for this particular swing, just so we don't get too high 
And then when we're ready to be done, let it swing and relax. So guys, that is your swing sort of in a nutshell. Again, it takes practice, it takes time. Whew. Get your heart rate up. I feel that a lot. That's why it's such a good exercise. We're working a lot of good things. So practice makes perfect. That's your kettlebell swing.